how do you develop vocabulary? Do you want us class? to start with um, the explicit teaching? I think so. Because I'm interested to learn from you, but when and how in your own classroom do you develop vocabulary explicitly? Okay. I think I might learn some things that I would want to try in my class as well. Okay. And I'll share as well what I do. Okay, let's start with um, uh, is it Kosa or English, for example, okay. our languages. Mm. Although you use other, during other lessons as well, like yes. life skills, you do and develop those vocabulary. Yes. Yeah. But let's specifically look at mm -hmm. a language. Yeah. How many lessons do you have mm. in a language? For example, mm -hmm. what lessons do you have in your, in your grade two? You have? Uh, shared reading, shared reading, read aloud, mm -hmm. um, listening and speaking activities, yeah. writing. Yeah. Um, so yeah. in all those lessons, you get an opportunity to develop a vocabulary. Sure. Ne? For mm. example, you take a shared reading. Okay. Ne? Mm. Before you do mm. your story, mm -hmm. you introduce learners to the new words. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, for example, go grade mm. one, up in begin. Mm. I said, okay, you don't, you know these words, mm. right? You use mm. them every day. Yes. It's not, sometimes it's not new words, mm. but you I know them, but you words. have these words, yeah. you're using them, but yes. you don't know how you, how they how look. You, yes. Okay, because the story mm. was easy, was just connecting to what they do before they, they come to school. Yeah. So, um, and most of the time mm. in shared reading, mm. we have um, new words, mm -hmm. big words, mm. right? Mm. So you must have those in your flashcard. Sure. So when you're teaching a shared reading, when you're doing your shared reading, mm -hmm. you will then mm -hmm. teach those um, words and say, okay, what is this word? Mm -hmm. So they, they say the word, mm -hmm. you have them say the word, mm -hmm. and uh, the meaning, Yes. and can you use it in a sentence, mm -hmm. for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you will have that collection of words. Mm -hmm. So what I do um, is to then take those words and put them on my wall. Yes. For example, if you look, at ah, this one, yes. Very nice. So, yeah. mm. so that's the ones, as it is, mm. they are coming from the Your shared reading yes, activity. The book that I used mm. this week. Mm. Um, another lesson, for example, mm. my phonic lesson, mm. I also have Amagama Asuka Gui phonics, lesson mm. yeah? mm. where I say, okay, mm. we're looking at this sound, sure. and these are the words mm. with this sound. Mm. I mean, so those are those words that yes. you have. Yes, but now I start with that wall first, the mm -hmm. other one, mm. yeah? and from there they come to the phrase. To your word. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's like mm. this week's area. Sure. Yeah? Mm. So, um, um, yeah, what other lesson again? Oh, we said um, shared reading. Shared reading. No read aloud. Okay. Oh, read aloud. Yeah, just to go back, yeah. so then you take out those words, ne? and yeah. you've taught them nicely and explicitly. They know how to spell them, they know what they mean, and they can use them in different ways. Mm -hmm. Then you put them up. Why do you put them up? Okay. This may be obvious, but I think it. Why, yeah. why do you put them up? Okay, in one, I want them to, to refer to them all the time. Sure. Not only them, but I want to say during the week, okay, who can make a sentence using this word? Very like nice. to cons mm. consistently mm. look and refer to those words, mm. Not, right? And then they use them sometimes in the, during their writing. Mm. And I said, okay, what words can you take mm. um, from our words of the week that you can mm. use when you are writing, mm. right? And um, that's, I think that's... So you that's time what, assessment in that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice, very, very, very nice. Yeah, cool. writing as well. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's, that's exactly that. Cool. Oh, and the read aloud. Mm. Remember, you read aloud, mm. uh, you, choose, you try to choose a... A book. A book that mm. is richer yes. in vocabulary. Mm. So, even with those words, mm. I use flashcards mm. and um, go over the meaning, go mm. over the form, like mm. how is it written, yes. right? Yeah. What sounds are in this and word? That word yeah. Yes. Mm. And how do we pronounce it? That's yes. very important. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then the meaning. So, mm. with, that's the read aloud as well. Mm. And with the listening and speaking, mm. sometimes I use a poster, mm -hmm. right? Very during, nice. Yes, during yeah. my listening and speaking. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is to look what is mm -hmm. on that poster mm -hmm. and 
write some words that yes. I can see and then attach them next to whatever thing that is on the poster. Mm. You, 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 there are quite a number of opportunities that you, yes. you get. In fact, throughout yeah. life skills, you can connect. Hence, the themes are, are very important because very it's nice. So. If you, if you mm. follow a certain theme, mm. you are able to connect whatever words that you have done in your mm. language mm. lesson to mm. your life skills. Mm. And then there are also maths. <laughs> There's meds for Cape as, as well. well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That you need, you can so, make. Sometimes mm. we think that we cannot make e flashcards for the, our meds for Kepler, mm. but we we have to make mm. um, um, flashcards for our meds for Kepler. Mm. So mm. yes. Cool. And, and another okay. thing, just to add yeah. on to what you're saying, is group guided reading mm. is another opportunity that I use to develop vocabulary yes. abandwana from the yes. readers that we use there. Mm. I select the words that I know with that group. It's new to them. They've never heard them before. And then I start doing work around those words. Mm. Kind of like a similar style that you're saying. This is how this word sounds. This is how it is shaped. This is how you'd use it. Mm -hmm. And then I keep repeating the same thing so that it gets into their head. Mm. Because the more you repeat the word, the more it kind of stays in their head and they're yeah. able to remember it. Yeah. And later on, you'll see them mm. comfortably using the word because you've given them enough opportunities yeah. to hear this word over and over again.